the internationally known Hood to Coast Relay, mother of all relays, the American Dream TV. So Steve White, Remax, you're here in the Portland area. You're also one of our regular American Dream partners. You brought us out here to freeze to death. I'm convinced <laughs> of that. that. Um, love you and kick you at the same time. But tell me why you love being out here and what you love about this. Well, real estate's all about relationships. And when I connected with the people from uh, Hood to Coast, it was just, um, it was like we had been friends forever. And so it was a delight for me to try and connect um, uh, the American Dream TV show with Hood to Coast because this is a national audience that needs to know about this story. So there is a wait list to be a part of this amazing event. 37 yeah. years this has been going. Now the, the rumors have spread worldwide. How many people are trying to get a part? Well, of it's this incredible because you think this event started in 1982 with 80 people total. Now there are 20,000 people in the event and another 40,000 on the waiting list. So one day in October, we'll open it up. We'll get 60,000 people trying to get in and then it's done. So that, that filters into Israel and China and Taiwan and everywhere else. Right, you guys are expanding yeah. now. Do you have other states and other countries that are saying, hey, we want to branch off? We want to do this as well? Yeah, new in 2019 will be Europe. So we hope to duplicate another 200 mile course there where people can run through three countries rather than three counties like they did in Oregon. Go back so. and talk about the countries again. You mentioned 40. 43 countries represent. I think I met a team from Bermuda, but what have you yeah, seen represented yeah. here this weekend? All 50 states, which is, believe it or not, easy for us to make happen uh, at this stage in the race. Uh, 43 countries, so seven continents. They're, they're from all over the world. Um, tough plane rides, tough travel, another 200 miles and you get to the beach. So it's a ton of work, but it, it's amazing. The one thing that I've noticed is how excited everybody is. So tough training, tough, to, you know, everything for this amazing thing that yeah. they have to take on physically, but the attitudes and what I have watched, tell me about the fun and what you're seeing with the camaraderie It's amazing because you can think of so many other words like I'm tired, I'm dirty, uh, I'm a little bit grumpy, but then I get here and all of a sudden I'm happy. It's just a cult following. It's the ability for us to have conversations and team build and us to have a bond that will be lifelong. And we, we, we always remember that and we take that to other events throughout the world. So it's pretty cool. I've noticed some creativity. Some of the costumes have been unreal. What have you noticed as far as the team costumes and how they're coming in? That is why, well, some in, mildly inappropriate, so we, we keep an eye on that. But that's why the event is so cool is that it shifts from being so competitive to what can we do to have fun. And dressing in a costume, being crazy, that's fun. A part of having fun though, there's also a very serious side that you guys are raising so much money year after year after year yeah. for cancer prevention. Why don't you touch yeah, on Yeah, thank you for outrage. asking. Yeah, the Providence Cancer Institute is in Portland. It's one of the best in the world as far as research is concerned. They focus on immunotherapy. Our participants will raise $850,000 this year for the cancer center. And next year, the goal is a million dollars. That's incredible. You guys it's are transforming lives, changing lives, and saving lives all with one event. The participants and volunteers are doing everything you just said. Right, We're just employees that are grateful to be a part of this amazing experience. What's ahead for next year? Well, we're gonna move to Europe. We're gonna try to make this process, this event, even better than it is. We hope that you come back and you're on a team and it'll be amazing. Thank you so much for talking today and for letting us come and be a part of this incredible experience. Thank you, thank Life -changing. you. Life-changing. Yes, thank you. Thanks. Out here at the Willamette River and we are about to meet a dynamic guest who is part of this amazing Hood to Coast event. Steve White with Remax has brought him in to meet us and we're going to talk to Steve real quick to find out why this is so special. Steve, you're already known as an expert in this community in real estate, but also an expert in giving back. People know you, but they also know that you know great people and know how to connect great people. You've brought one to us today. Tell us who you've brought and why he's so special to you. Yeah, Daniel Harkavy with Building Champions. He um, coaches high execs, and but he's a dear friend of mine. He was my business coach, and he was the one that uh, catapulted my business to uh, the success that we're at today. So, so we're in for a treat. 
Yeah, oh, absolutely. All right, thank you. Let's let's go meet him. Let's do it. I am so excited to finally be out here talking with Daniel Harkavy. This is really truly a life moment for me, but now for you, the viewers, you have a special treat. It is so great to talk with you. Thank you for being out here today in this beautiful location and ready for the hood to coast. My pleasure. It's great to be with you up here in, in my backyard. It's great to be It is you. your backyard. Yeah. I know. Living forward. Yep. This is important. We need to discuss this. Okay. Most people don't realize about a life plan. Why don't you touch real quick? What is a life plan? That could be yeah. foreign language to somebody. Yeah. So basically it's a, a written document created by you for you. It's kind of like a GPS for your life. So uh, I think the best way to explain it is just like a GPS. You, you build an intentional plan that will get you to where you want to be in all the areas of your life that are really important. So we walk you through how to create a vision. We have you address where you are, your starting point, where you want to go, and then the life plan helps you to figure out all of the intentional steps that will get you from here, where you are today, to where you want to be in the areas of your life that are most important. Now, I know in your book and when you're teaching, you talk about something that's probably what most people think, yeah, but I get stuck. You call it the drift. Yep. So a lot of people think life plan sounds great. We do this for a day and then oops, something happened. Why don't you talk about the drift a little bit for me? Yeah, so the drift I think happens um, more so today than probably ever before. And, and the drift is this subtle kind of pull that takes a whole bunch of really smart people and it kind of pulls them off course. And I'm a surfer, so I spend a lot of time in the water and I know what happens with currents. Currents mm -hmm. can, can take us to places that create uh, an outcome that's nothing like what we would want. And in life that happens each and every day. Uh, it can be all of the reactive tendencies that we encounter each and every day. So we have to fight the drift by being intentional. Most of us go through life by really making a lot of emotionally based decisions. Mm -hmm. um, how do I feel? How does that person treat me? Where do I get the, the most kudos and the pats on the back? And, and for many of us, that's our careers. Um, for many of us, we put a lot of energy into making money. And as a result of that, we might make decisions that cause us to get off course. Mm -hmm. And then someday we wake up and we realize we've drifted and that happens because we've got pain or we've got regret and there's some real difficulties and what I say is you can be more proactive and intentional and that's what a life plan will do. It'll help you fight the drift. Yeah, and the drift, like you're saying, that could be paralyzing for some people. That could yeah. cause them to have so much fear that they don't move forward. Yeah. So back to the plan then, it's so important. Then what specifically is the plan? You've got somebody that's yeah. like, that sounds terrifying. How, how do they put together that plan? So um, we've got a template and we'll give it to everybody. Um, we want as many people to live proactively, intentionally as possible. So we have a step-by-step -step plan. It's free, it costs you nothing, uh, except for a significant investment of time. It requires you to invest one full day to answer the questions and to think about where you are and where you wanna be in all, of, all the areas of your life. And then once that's done, then the way you fight the drift is by reviewing it. And you need to review it and review it and review it uh, for really the rest of your life. Part of living forward and part of a life plan, you have different people that come to you for this. Who, who specifically, who comes to you and saying we need this? Yeah, so, so Building Champions works with business leaders that can range from entrepreneurs to uh, large, large organizations. We have global clients where they go through this process because what they want is they want to be more effective as leaders. And we believe self-leadership always precedes team leadership. So how we lead ourselves impacts how we lead our teams, our organizations, and ultimately the results that we get. So the process that's in here, uh, we walk, like I said, high school level kids through it, executives, um, people that are looking at retirement, it's a big audience. Mm -hmm. But our primary client base, they're business leaders. They're business leaders and they go through the process so that they can be successful not just in business but in life. And then they're passing it down, all the Always. future leaders. Yeah, we want, we want to give this away and that's what they do. So you touched on a day and I know people might think, oh yeah, I could dedicate a day and they're taking calls or maybe only go to their desk for a minute. You're talking a real, true, dedicated, nothing else day. Yep. Why don't you touch on that a little bit? Yeah, so to build a, a life plan that's going to have this magnetic pull power, it's going to cause you to make different decisions so that you fight the drift and you fill your day with more proactive and intentional decisions. You need to invest a day to go through the process that we've created because the process we've created will enable you to have a plan that not just taps into what you think you want, but what you believe you want. And if you're going to have a plan that's got this magnetic pull power, you're going to need a whole day to go through it. And oh. you can't have the cell phone on, you can't have a lot of interruptions. This is gonna be something you're gonna use for 
the years ahead to help you to fill your days with more intentional decisions. And one day. A life changing day. Yeah. One day, most people yeah. spend so much time, you know, planning a vacation or figuring out what car they're going to buy mm -hmm. or planning a wedding, yet they don't invest a day to put together a plan for their life. Right. And we see that it actually works. And you offer training. You have teams that can train people, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a, an executive coaching team. So That's fantastic. Yeah. That's, living forward, I am just so excited about this. I really Thanks. encourage that everybody take the opportunity. And speaking of training, you happen to train quite a bit for this Hood to Coast that we've got going on here. Uh, oh, yes. How many years have you been involved? So I think this is our team's 17th or 18th time, and I've run it, I think, all times except for maybe one or two. Are you just as excited this year as the other years before? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me at the end. Okay. Yeah, I am. You know what's fun about it is the energy and the teamwork and uh, the camaraderie with the building champions team, our team, as well as the clients we get to run with. So it's going to be awesome. That is fantastic. Sleep well, they, deprived, crazy and awesome. They are lucky to have you. We uh, were lucky to have thanks. you out here today and have thanks. the blessing of being able to talk with you and hear right your on. teaching. I hope everybody reaches out. Right on. Thank you for the time today. Hey, thanks for having me. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So we are here in Sandy, Oregon now, part of the Hood to Coast. I am not running behind, but I am with the team running behind. Great to see you guys. Now this is a little bit of a special one because our dear friend and American Dream partner, Steve White, you were supposed to run in this one, but got hurt. Got hurt. Right, so now the rest of the team here is gonna carry the baton. How long have you guys been doing this? Uh, this is my second year. Two years. This is my fourth year. First. Who's second. first? Who's first? Who's first? New beginner. Alright, awesome. Newbie. Are you guys excited though? This is, at yes. least it's nice and warm down here. You've got the good run going on. This is gonna be awesome. If you're not gonna run fast, I'm gonna jump back in and do it for you. I'm He's gonna not. for you, bud. <laughs> Alright, All right, well go have a great amazing day. Thank you, running behind. Yeah, thank you. So excited, back here in Sandy, Oregon. We're back also with Daniel Harkavy with his building champion teams. Great to see you again. Great to be with you. So today's to race you. day, yep. how are you guys feeling? We're gonna win. This <laughs> team here, <laughs> we're <laughs> basically <laughs> eyes on the prize. We're feeling pretty darn good. You're pretty still pretty casual. Your running shoes aren't on yet. I, I run in flip-flops. I told you I was a surfer. <laughs> this is the fastest, fastest apparel you can buy. You know, I can do anything in wedges. So there you go. I, I see that that's kind yeah. of the, the comparison. Yeah. So that's perfect. Well, I'm excited for you guys, and I think you're gonna have a great time out there. What an we awesome event. We already are. How many years in a row for you? Uh, I think our team, this will be a 17th year. So well, All of you guys, 17 years? No, we've got some first timers. So. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, yeah, so. All right, we well, wish you all the best. Thanks. Thank you. We'll see you out there. So this is the fun part. We get to actually talk with one of the trainers that works with the athletes personally. I have Sean Bosted, Steelhead Coaching. So good to talk to you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so, for having me. We've been out here experiencing this entire event. I've been seeing, you know, everything from the experts to people that are challenging themselves to new limits. You personally work with athletes. That's correct. So are you just a big gym and, and people come in or what is your approach and tell me a little bit about you? Yeah, no, we're actually a really small boutique fitness gym. So we tend to focus on a little bit more tight goals than maybe the broader spectrum uh, goals that people come into. Um, but it doesn't mean that we just work with elite athletes. We work with a whole variation of type of individuals actually. Um, so I have a team actually running out here today. It's named Team, team Athena. Okay. Um, tight assets, which is kind of, <laughs> kind of great. Um, but their goal today was to come out and, and beat a rival team that they're racing against, which currently right now they're doing. And I'm super proud as a coach to see that happen. Um, so hopefully they can hold the lead. Um, but them being elite women and really, really strong runners um, is an amazing accomplishment. But I love to see people that, you know, come to me and say, hey, I just want to, you know, lose five pounds or I just want to, you know, maintain a healthy lifestyle. So, sure. and we work with all types of individuals. Do you notice when you've got people that are maybe newer to getting fit in, in their health, are they more yeah. apprehensive? Are they fearful? What kind of, how, how is it for you to kind of take them under your wing for the first time? Sure, definitely. They're, they're usually nervous. They're apprehensive for sure. We try to calm their nerves though, explain the whole process, give them the entire roadmap. We work on a very like progressive based system, very periodized scheduling, um, and we try to lay it all out so that it's not nerve wracking for them. And, and we try to have fun with it and try to make sure that they're enjoying what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. If they're not enjoying what they're doing, then they're just not gonna continue doing it. So we try to hone in on the things that are the most enjoyable, make that a habit for them, and then continue on from there. I know you take a more of a holistic approach. Why don't you touch on that briefly about what that looks like? Sure, holistic approach meaning that we look at every aspect of their life 
So we want them to accomplish their goals, number one, but we also know that life isn't some static, stagnant thing that doesn't change and isn't malleable. Life happens. Life happens, exactly. <laughs> so I mean, if someone's having a bad day, I mean, if you're you know, struggling at work or you're stressed out or you know, something else terrible happens in life, we like to make sure that we're paying attention to that kind of stuff right, and knowing that we can adjust the training and adjust things to make sure that people can accomplish their goals based around those other life situations that take place. Absolutely. Yeah. I talked to a, quite a few runners as we've been out here the last few days and the first thing I was always asking is, have you trained? Have you trained? And it was surprising to me how many people kind of like shied away or maybe said they didn't train. I know you're, you're a Hood to Coast trainer. You really specialize in what it takes to get through a relay like this. Uh, how, how do people come in and get in touch with you and what kind of new clients do you take on? Sure, yeah, no, we have a website. It's uh, www.steelheadcoaching.com. Um, they can just reach out to us through there um, or my email, sean at steelheadcoaching.com. But what we do is we try to set people up with a really progressive plan to get them to that end goal of Steelhead, or I'm sorry, of, of Hood to Coast. Um, and it's all laid out in an online format. It gets delivered to them either via email, um, or through this piece of software that we use, and um, it's really simple and it's great. That's so, awesome. Do you also yeah. take a personal approach to anybody any time of year if oh, they just need yeah. to really bump up their life and get real training? Totally, yeah. So we work with people individually as well outside of these bigger bigger run groups that we work with um, and hone in on their particular goals as well too. For That's sure. awesome. Yeah. So glad we got to talk to you today. Yeah. And thanks for the difference you make in lives. It empowers people. Thank you. Which for us empowers <laughs> the American dream because if you can take charge physically and really you know, feel that self-esteem and, and challenge yourself to a new heights. You can do that in all other facets in our life. So thanks for being thanks. such a great mentor to so many. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm here with Felicia Hubber, and you are the um, race director with Hood to Coast. So you're responsible for all of the races, Hood to Coast, as well as the race series. I'm exhausted thinking about all the responsibilities that you have to do. Walk me through what that's like and what are your responsibilities? Well, I have to say we have an amazing team. So we have 10 really hardworking people, but uh, for myself, uh, a lot of what I do is logistics related. So it goes everything from start line all the way 199 miles to the finish from uh, equipment, solidifying 36 different permits, meeting with all kinds of different community organizations and agencies along the way. Uh, and then it's it's the details. You know, I, I, I pride myself and yet I also, to my own detriment, I'm a perfectionist. So it's the details for me that count. Um, and you know, documenting everything that we possibly can. So. Now, how do you do that? Because you guys now have um, Israel. Yeah. Uh, China, Taiwan, are you responsible for all of that as well? Well, uh, we collaborate with different companies in each of those different areas. So, for example, in China, we work with a group called Star Sports, and that was actually uh, co-owned and founded by Yao Ming, NBA All-Star. And uh, his company works directly with us, and we collaborate on all of the logistics. So, I talk with them you know, pretty frequently, I would say probably every other day, and we're working on logistics for the race in China, as well as Taiwan and Israel. And you so. can run faster than him, right? <laughs> I hope so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but you're also president and mm -hmm. chairwoman, so yes. what are those responsibilities for you? Uh, for, for me, it's overseeing the overall brand and scope of what Hood to Coast has become and what is what it's becoming uh, internationally as well as our one day relays and where we're going to expand, what we want our mission and our message to be. And then we, we want to be uh, overall creating healthy lifestyles, but doing it in a way that's entertaining and fun for people. Because everybody could go out and go for a run, but not everyone has the ability to come together in a group type setting and really share their memories, um, get to know one another on a very intimate level. Uh, and I feel like that's what Hood to Coast does. So it's it's creating that messaging and really overseeing the, the long-term scope of, of where we want to be. So from that perspective, why don't you share a little bit more about who you are, what are your passions outside of Hood to Coast, yeah. and what's your background? Okay. So I grew up with Hood to Coast. Um, my background, I was three months old with the first race. Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kinda, so I always know how old I am. <laughs> um, but my my background is actually in running. I, I was into track, basketball, and cross country growing up. 
Um, and then I love hiking, I love traveling. So having the international component now with the Hood to Coast events, um, it's kind of a dream come true for me because I love to travel. So I get to combine running, work with travel and experiencing these new cultures. So, uh, so far I've traveled to about 25 countries, but I hope to see many, many more. Um, and then I love, um, my husband and I both have kind of a, an odd thing, but we have to have Indian food in every country we go to. I love Indian food. So um, doing that and then spending time with our son. So we have a, a five and a half year old um, little boy named Declan and he just started kindergarten. So um, spending time with him and then I just, I like to be outside. So uh, spending time with my family is, is really important to me. So Hood Coast is, I mean, everyone wants to get in part of that. Yeah. But talk to me about all of the other race series that you have and what's the benefit for people to be a part of those and how does it help them train for also Hood to Coast? Yeah, so the one day relays are fantastic because that experience allows people to uh, see what Hood to Coast is like on a microcosm scale. So you can participate in this one, you know, many of the one day relays we have, yeah. whether it's Pacific City or Hood to Coast Washington or the upcoming High Desert. And it's on a Saturday. So you don't have to take off work on Friday, which is unlike Hood to Coast. And uh, you're running two legs instead of three legs. So for those who don't feel like they're quite ready or don't have the ability to run Hood to Coast and the, the str strenuous nature of what that entails, a one day relay is uh, a lot more attainable for, for many people who have you know work life, busy schedules and, and don't have time to train for Hood to Coast. Thank you so much for your time. I know we're at the Hawthorne Exchange and there's a lot of responsibilities that you have uh, during this race, but I just wanted to thank you for your time and appreciate it. Thank you. Steve, Hood to Coast has been an absolutely incredible yeah. event. You've brought us up here to really witness this firsthand and feel it, which is I think what I've experienced with this. American Dream, you're one of our regular partners, yep. incredible here in the Portland area, but we have 23 cities nationally that are a part of the American Dream. What do you feel that, that the rest of the viewers in all the cities could do to be a part of Hood to Coast and to give back? And what are you personally doing to give back? Yeah, so we've been recording this for three days, and one of the things that really came to my heart most is their charity side that Hood to Coast mm -hmm. gives back. And so in that, um, as I was spending some time just praying about this, I really want to make sure that anyone that's tied to Hood to Coast and anyone that's tied to the American Dream across all 50 states, if you are thinking of buying or selling a house, if you will send me an email, stevewhite at remax.net, and put Hood to Coast, give back, when that transaction closes, I'll make sure that a, a donation will be given to Hood to Coast and one of their charities that they've got approved. They raised $850,000 this year, cancer research. Lives are being saved. I'm so glad that you're also putting the shout out and challenge for people to realize that they can make a difference even if they're not running in this relay. Thank you so much for donating your time, your heart, your service, and future business to Hood to Coast. Amy, my pleasure. So as a reminder, if you were thinking of buying or selling a home, no matter where you're at in the United States, send me an email to stevewhite at remax.net, put Hood to Coast, give back, and I will connect you with one of the top realtors in your market. And when that transaction closes, I will make sure a donation is made to one of the charities tied to Hood to Coast.